The Race Air Cloud with race-based software has the ability to easily predict your throttle stop value for anyone doing index racing. This video will walk you through how to get your view set up for throttle stop, how to edit your formula and fine tune it, as well as using it accurately to predict your throttle stop timer value. So let's get started. First, we are going to check that you had the latest version. You can do this by clicking on settings. This was filmed using version 2.4.10, so if you have anything older, please click on check for updates. Next, we are going to click on the views icon. This is going to show us what our current car's view for the logbook and add run is. And this customer is using a quarter mile. So if we click on that view in the views view area, we will see all of the different categories that comprise this view. What we want to do now is add our throttle stop category to it so we can easily see our timer values. Then once added, we'll move it up to where it's easy and prominent to see. Now, after we save, we can collapse the views and we will see that our throttle stop category is showing. And if we click on add run, we should see it in its own little section. Next, we need to modify your throttle stop formula for your particular application. To do this, click on the top predict icon then expand the predict widget over to show the report card. Down below the report card you will see a customize button. Click on it. It will then pop up with the area where we can edit the formulas. Select the throttle stop formula from the drop down list and now we will see everything that makes up our throttle stop formula. The first is a desired ET. Simply type in whatever your index is. You can also type in something like 889 if you want to hold a number or even 890 with a 5 if you want to play it safe a little. Next, it is asking you which ET prediction formula you would like to use. So think of it like this. When we do a throttle stop prediction, we are actually applying two separate formulas. One to determine what you would run, and the other to modify your timer to get back to your index. The reason we have you select an existing formula is because it allows you to fine tune and perf perfect a dial-in formula and then easily grab and use that when it's time to go index racing. And finally is the index adjust. Here we are asking you how much timer it takes to move you 0 .01 in ET. So if you just made a pass and went 889, when you want to go 890, how much timer would you put in it to go up that 100th? So the next question we typically get is, okay, I know what to put in for my desired ET, but how do I know which ET prediction method to use, and how do I know how much my timer actually moves me a hundredth. When it comes to which prediction formula to use, that is up to you. We typically recommend using the prediction report card to find which formula works best for you and then fine tune that formula over time to become even better. Please note that right now the prediction report card does not work on passes where you were making throttle stop changes. Uh, we will hopefully have this report card working for throttle stop in the future, uh, but at the time it is not. If you do not know which formula to select, then we recommend starting with the most basic, which is the single run no wind. Determining how much timer moves you a hundredth may seem like a daunting task, but we actually have a great tool that can help you fine tune this value. Click on tune up and it will automatically open up a new tab and open up the variable effect on ET tool. Here we are going to change the variable from headwind to stop timer. Now we want to take a look at our logbook and find two runs where the weather was pretty consistent but we made a decent change on the stop timer value. Here we have two passes where the weather didn't change much and the headwind was pretty similar, but we slowed the car down by adding .031 in timer. So if we hit select run and then click on this run, it will pump it into the left side, then click on select run and the other run, and now both have been punched in. Now we can see that between these two passes, Moving the timer point 011 moved the quarter mile ET by one hundredth. Now if I remove the third run and instead compare the first and the second, you'll see that in that scenario it took point 015 in timer change to move you a hundredth. So now we have a point 011 and a point 015 value. If this is all I had to go off of, then I would probably split the difference and say that my timer value to move me a hundredth is point 013. Now I will go back to the predict tab, change the timer adjust value to 0 .013, and I've now customized my formula for my particular car. Then if I want I can create a custom name for the throttle stop method like dragster throttle stop, or I can leave it alone and just click save. Now I would recommend going to cars and changing your default formula to throttle stop. 
Now all it will take is to click on the cell inside of the run that you want to predict off of and then hit the purple predict icon. If you are logging weather, you will see that you automatically now have a new prediction showing and it's a throttle stop value. If you have any further questions, feel free to visit Computech.com.